clearly. Because I made a $12 profit off of it. And no one's going to understand what he's talking about. All right. I mean, were you even... You weren't recording now, were you? I am now. Um... Oh. Well, I mean, it was on tennis, and if there's anything I know, it's tennis. It's tennis. All right, we're back to normal. Back to our 20-minute episode. As this episode runs around 35 minutes long. You said... You said... <laughs> until, until he watches... Oh, I'm uh, all the way through her hands. Part, duh. No, the funny part about that has been coming up, like, since that week. Like, it's been on stuff. Like, there's a new car oh, commercial. Really? <laughs> like, there's a new car commercial. And, like... It parodies Edward Scissorhands. Oh, that's the is is that that one with Timmy Sh- Timothy Schlaum? I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. With Ed, Edward Scissorhands' son. To. I don't know, think you understand what I mean yeah, by like that's I don't it. fucking know. That's that's it. Tell me that wasn't my fault. Afro Samurai. Okay. Now this week is a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I've actually watched Afro Samurai. I watched it last night. This place had a story. The first once. five, like the eight, I watched the first this series. used to be about something. It's only five episodes. Uh, That's last night. Out. So I know. Get in the way. Things get in the way. So I know how the game there and leaving nothing in its place differs. From the, uh, the the series, it's not a series. Yeah, Afro Samurai in, in and of itself. Cut the ropes. I like how it's like. Okay. Um, it's the number two. And there is like a massive difference between the show and this. It's like a super big difference. We are as far as like shoot up brothers. Content goes. In the show Oh, I hate myself. This show doesn't Uh It's what I would call a good anime. Because um <laughs> it does it by any stretch of the imagination. I'll say it's welcome. Oh, well, what kind of a bad anime? Dragon Ball Z. Time to die. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is no, bad. Wait, no, no, come on. No, come I'm, on. Not, I'm not joking. No, like, maybe Dra- not Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super. No, Dragon Ball Z is a bad anime. Like, it doesn't do it. It doesn't really? do it. Yeah, it's bad. It's a bad anime as in a traditional, like, anime. That's not how anime is supposed to be. Uh, I don't know what it. Yeah, I don't know what. It, An anime, uh, want, a, a, so a good, a good anime is supposed to just tell you a story, and then go home. That's it. It has a story no, to it's tell. It's it tells art. It in the it's lead. art. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Afro Samurai has a story to tell. It tells the story, then it shuts the fuck up. Dragon Ball Z is like explicitly designed to take up as much of your time as humanly possible. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. So, what about what about Dragon Ball? I never, I've never this watched Dragon Ball. Mark had to tell you that. Something. Mark would have to answer that. I, I genuinely don't know. That's our way out. But people I mean, the way. what I can constitute as a good anime, what he constitutes a good anime, doesn't you know, <laughs> Again, like fun. I'm not bullshitting nobody with the fuck shit. Good means how how they are designed the to be enjoyed. Like, David Cage doesn't make good video games, but he makes good interactive media. Like, that's not, but that's not a good video game. That's not what a video game ever was supposed to be. Like, an anime isn't, isn't, isn't supposed to be, it's not intentionally serialized. It's, um, again, it's supposed to tell a story, and then I'm hitting the wrong button. Is Inuyasha I don't anime? watch anime. And this is kind of why I don't watch a lot of anime, is because because aren't there like a a, a million episodes of that? Yeah, not and, really. No, no, it's more of a million episodes of Naruto, 
rather than uh, oh, it's Naruto. Okay. Yeah, than uh, Inuyasha. Naruto, on the other hand, yeah, is <laughs> definitely a poorly put together anime based on like people, like people that I know for a fact watch it. Like the way they say, like, yeah, it has so many episodes. More specifically, episodes you don't need to watch to understand the story. Like, it's a lot of filler. And Dragon Ball Z... What's the difference between Naruto and Boruto? Uh, DNA and genetic, because Boruto is his son. Oh, really? Yeah. Literally had no idea. Yeah, I can tell that by the fact that you had. That's how I put it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck! I, yes, on... You say you don't watch anime. No, I, I mean, yeah, I don't. Fuck. I don't watch Baruto or Naruto. I have been told by people who watch it. You has knowledges. That wasn't this place that wasn't in a question. Story once. Yeah, but if there's a person who has watched all of Naruto, I can tell you don't watch it. That's how we Rather don't watch all of it. But people get in Figure the out what you need to watch. Things or watch all of it if you fucking don't care, because again, like I don't Destroying what I like Dragon Ball Z. But the one thing I, I have like learned to like I have a hard time tolerating as an adult with Dragon Ball Z. It's it, 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 it Like, it, it tries to make it seem like the idea of... Uh, here's the difference. Afro Samurai does not have, like, coordinated fight sequences that take forever. You know why? Samurai didn't fight like that. Like, it was... Calculated strike, fights ended quickly. That was it. We are Even when he fought hordes of enemies, up, which only was like once or twice, because again, it was five 20 minute episodes, or five 30 minute episodes. Like they, he didn't, um, he didn't spend that much time fighting because it wasn't required. Because that, you know, if you were good what you did as a samurai, you didn't really have to worry about. And that's just how, how it went down. Like, every bit of the story, I would argue, is relative to the plot. Like, there's an entire, like, it's, the there's road, parts of the story bitch. I forgot. And, like, Okiku's part, Okiku's episode, which I think is episode two, is a lot more sexual than I remember. Okay. <laughs> That dude made noises somebody his size from the maid. Okay. Yeah! Your story is over. So yeah, it uh <coughs> TC Carson, everybody in the in the game is in the show. Everybody. Um It's beautiful in how like it was conceptualized um it's just insanity at its best like the show is incredibly it's okay. they're all gone now you made them all dead let them topple let them fall stay balanced um ninja ninja's inclusion in the story is definitely hard to identify like how real he is until like episode like four or five like they give you a definite answer around five like in episode five which is mark it mark pointed out in the first episode of this ninja ninja is not real like it seems like it seems like they like ninja ninja was created there's some characters that have like an idea exists but other than that not um as far as the like the show is concerned no nah, no one ever interacts with ninja ninja directly and afro talk no 
maybe three complete sentences the entire anime. The entire run of the first five, like, the first series, he doesn't talk. Like, uh, maybe, a, maybe a full paragraph of dialogue the entire time. Like, adult Afro. Child Afro talks a lot. Afro, but that's mostly because of Captain. Um, but yeah, it, it, uh, the only person who acknowledges Ninja Ninja is Justice. And that's in the last episode. In the very yeah. last episode, he t he he, uh, he said he talks about how he uh, almost shed a tear when he uh, shared that imaginary friend of his because he died. Uh, ninja Ninja dies, but at some point, you know, even when he dies, it's stranger than. Boy, it'd be great if I could see. Wouldn't it, son? I am swinging it the air. Oh, that's cold blooded. It was. But the blood was warm on my on my face. Uh But I have had this conversation with you before about how the way you feel about anime is because it's a, it's a cultural difference thing, and I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying, saying it is. That and that's just it not is. True. It's not. I've seen Japanese films. They don't run like anime. Like they don't fucking do that. Like it's it's not. Have you watched a K drama? That's a that's a K drama. When did those start? That, that recently, exactly. How long is that? But they're been borrowing around? from. I'm just exactly. saying the things they do in K dramas. Exactly. Are borrowing from anime. From anime, which wasn't a part of their natural like the way they shot film or the way they wrote script. It's like, and not all anime is like that. So, like, it's certain animes go out of their way to lengthen their stories like just to pad them out and yeah uh, a k-drama which i'm assuming is their version of a fucking uh soap opera yeah the, uh, real Come american on. soap operas take, <laughs> take too fucking long to like wrap up because they don't wrap up they're not they're not designed to wrap yeah, up. yeah they never wrap up yeah they're not designed to they're they're designed to fucking be milk for you know all their worth to be fair so well and that's the weird thing about like American uh, TV is like nothing else is like that. TV shows are not designed, like sitcoms are not designed to never end. The They're exclusively designed to either end quickly or be canceled out of nowhere. There are only three things that are really des designed to never end as far as American TV goes. Game shows? No, professional wrestling, The Simpsons, and South Park. Uh, and not South Park. No uh, Law and Order SVU. This has all been the counter South Park, ah, yeah. South Park will uh. definitely end at some point. <laughs> like, by all means, like, South Park. Yeah, I feel like only because the creators are just going to be like, all right, we're good. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing with South Park. They don't necessarily have, like, this uh, need to continue going. Like at all. Oh. Also, the fucking music in the show and this game are really goddamn good. Like, really good. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, duh. I'm like, yeah. But, like, I didn't listen to the music. Like, like in the game because I'm recording. But, 
when editing, like I came across like a part of the game. You know, I did, I heard music because I was editing, and it's really good. It's only really good if you like hip hop. Like if you prefer country music, then you're not really unhappy. Oh, sweet! I just want some money. Okay, so this kind of deal, where like I'm like like short comboing into a fucking slice road. like this. Yeah, that's kind of how the show works. Like, he doesn't spend a whole lot of time just slicing dice. That's a Batman reference. I mean, they're supposed to take down their enemies as quickly as possible while retaining energy, because you don't people. know how many more you have to find. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's, and, and to be fair, like, Afro definitely comes off as a little bit cockier than need be, because... He swings a two-handed sword with one hand. I mean, he's kind of in the ring, to be fair. But it's how he—it's how he's always done it. Like that—that's that, for whatever reason. That's how he's always swung the sword, and it's his dad's sword. Because I forgot about the scene where he's still a child, and he's like determined to find the number two. Even as a kid, he's like, "Yeah, I need to find number two. And he finds out that like somebody in a nearby brothel knows where number two is, and so he breaks in there with like with a knife. Or I think he, I think he either has a knife or or he steals one while he's in there. And the dude is like humpulating his uh his his date for the evening, if you will. His concubine. Yeah. And like baby Afro just kind of comes in and stabs him. And. Yes, she did. And he taught him, like, he was like. Yeah. But he didn't kill him outright. Like, he didn't kill him outright because he wanted to know where number two was, obviously. Can't and, say anything. Yeah, yeah. How can he be the one if he's dead? Oh also, this this uh is set in. Beautiful dog. You're painting pictures. He uh, this is set in a weird, in a weird state of uh, futuris futurism. They live in feudal. It's clearly feudal Japan. But they That's have, why I said it's like futuristic feudal Japan. Yeah, but they have cell phones. Yeah. Because wow, he died. Okay. Because Okiku is how would I word this? And it not sound dumb. Okiku is supposed to siphon his dreams. Blow that shit. Bring it all down. And put them into an S D card for the MP7. Your story. Those are the words. <laughs> Those that's what happened. That's what happened. Because that's how they make uh, Afro Droid. A thing, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't how know old is the show? Just oh, since so like Pretty 2007. Old. Yeah. How old is it the game? Around not too, not, uh, around the same time, actually. Because it's on PS3. It was like 2009. Yeah, because it was a, a, a launch title for PS3. It had, no, it was before 2009. Because I had it in, like, I had it before 2009. Look it up. Oh, I can look it up. I had the uh, the Wikipedia page up. Is it slow? Yeah, it's slow. Hold on. What are you doing? Dying slowly. Aren't you all? Yeah, it's kind of the goal. Uh, 2002. Oh, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry. That's when the uh, the manga was released. Kind of oh, okay. I oh, know. 2009. Yeah, released January 27th, 2009. Weird. 
Weird. I didn't get it long after it released. Oh, okay. Interesting concept. People worshipped them. People struggled. To Just so them. you know, like uh, adult now, Afro talks more in the game than the building. So. People struggle. I mean, if you're gonna pay for Samuel Jackson, you're gonna use Samuel Jackson. Lost. Clearly the wrong way to go about that. Yeah, but with that being said, like Ninja Ninja is talking constantly in the show and in the game. Yeah. Like Ninja Ninja talk constantly. Ron Perlman also, you know, ma the main villain of the show, is only there for two episodes. Yep. And if you didn't know it was Ron Perlman already, you wouldn't <clears throat> know it was Ron Perlman. I, I am saying that as somebody who watched it recently, it he does a really good job of making it sound like he's not himself. I would argue, like, if you could get past a little bit of the melodrama that comes from it, because it is only 26 episodes, if you could watch Trigun, you would probably enjoy it. Because it, it follows the same sort of... It's a little more slapsticky. I'll, I'll give you that. There's a little more... ha ha -ha's. But it is only to me. That's not too bad. Dead Man Wonderland isn't all that long. And it felt like it could have been longer. Because, like, I would definitely say Dragon Ball Z, like, sub like skewed my expectations. Well, here's the thing about, like, the most, like, popular anime. Like, Bleach and Naruto and Bleach. One Piece. And Bleach. they're all shonen. They're all shonen, shonen anime. Because they come from, yeah, they come from Shonen Jump. Which is made to be released on a semi like is it a weekly? And it's a weekly basis, like for you to pick up. And as long as it's making money, they're gonna keep making yeah. the, the comic. Because I think I've yeah. told you this before, but the person who made Bleach literally was basically stuck in a contract of having to make that forever. And he certainly he just literally started making the uh, manga like terrible on purpose so that they would just stop. Because he just literally didn't want to make Bleach anymore. That's great. Oh, okay. So you failed at doing the thing that you were supposed to do. Which was stay on the gun. You had one job. Okay, um, I want to figure out where it is I'm supposed to be going. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go over. Yeah. No! I'm actually really scared to check how... Because One Piece is still going. Like, One Piece is still yeah, yeah, yeah. being made. One Piece for sure is actually still running. But I would like to point out that, like, when it comes to American, the American audience, regardless of what American audience will will say, American audiences are greedy when it comes to like things because they're American, so they want more of all of it. Yeah, One Piece has been 
running since 1999, and it's still oh, going. Man. I didn't know it was up. I didn't know it was that old. Like honestly, I didn't know it was that old. So 21 years, no, 22 years, because 1999. Wow, I would be one remember. of the years. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is like. I am bad at this, or. Or what? Like, yeah, I can't get him to. <clears throat> I, yeah, I, I can't get him to to climb on top of it. Like, I'm supposed to do that. Oh, wow, this is terrible. Like, am I bad, or is this just, like, the worst, the, like, the worst section in the area? And I came over here, and was I supposed to? Is the question like, am I supposed to be over here? I want to read more about Bleach real quick. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to be up here. I just don't know, like, what I'm supposed to do when I get up here. Yeah, Bleach was another one of those that ran from 2001 to 2016 again because the creator literally was like, free me, please. Okay, what do I do? I'm stuck. Like, I'm stuck. I don't know if there was something I was supposed to do and I didn't do it, so therefore I can't. All right, I'm going to figure it out, and then we'll pick up in the next episode. Until next time, stay black. Bye.